Welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you two methods of creating realistic mirrors. This tutorial is an English version of Scrat's realistic mirrors tutorial, which will also be linked in the description. I hope you enjoy. Like and subscribe if you want. Okay, let's begin. As I said in the uh, intro, there are going to be two methods to this. The first one, we're just going to be using the standard Detail 2 Chrome. And the GTA 5 Detail 2 Chrome is uh, up here on screen now. There'll be like a box showing where it is, where you should map your Chrome to if you want to recreate the same effect, but with uh, standard Vishare textures. And then we'll also do a custom material version, which uh, I'll show later. So the first thing we want to do is have our mirrors map to Detail 2, which is already set up. So if I quickly bring up both the front doors and the interior piece. So if I just select all of these and go into polygon mode and then I'll select the mirrors. Which is easier said than done when you have multiple objects selected because the modeler. There's that one. It's that one, and finally the last door, that one. And then we'll go to Edit UV, Keep Original Mapping, hit OK. Deselect all of those. Go to the UV Mapper, Detail 2, and you can see they are mapped right here. And this is where Chrome is on Detail 2. An easy way to check is to look at the specular map, which is here. Anything that's in this sort of light blue color is Chrome. So you can see there's a lot of that on there. So what we'll do now is we'll set up the pivot on each of the mirrors and we'll project the normals from the pivot helper point. So let's do that. Let's right click on this, switch to vertex mode, get the pivot helper and center it to selection. And then we'll switch to left view on this left pane and we're going to move this sort of back, I don't know, to about here I think. And then we'll select the normals, project normals from pivot helper and then we'll just left click. Let's see what we've got here. Angle wise, I'm not happy with that angle, so I'm going to switch to top view and move the pivot. Go out sort of this way. Yeah, about like that. So I just left click after I moved it and it recalculates the normals, projects them out from view. So I, I'm pretty happy with that angle. Obviously, you can mess with it to get what you're after. The closer it is to your mesh, the uh, more angle there'll be, but the you have to think about how it's going to affect things in game. Obviously, if there's too much of an angle, you're going to see some sort of artifacting with the reflection in game, and you don't want that. So you just want a nice distance away, and then you can left click to sort of bring things out a bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that you can also hold shift as well while left clicking to get a different sort of angle. It just handles it differently. But I'm happy with that. So I did shift plus left click with it about here. And I'm happy with that now. So we will do the same on the other door. So we'll jump into polygon mode. We'll select it and then we'll switch to vertex mode and it'll already be selected. And then we can pivot center to selection and then we'll move the pivot out a little bit. And then we'll recalculate these. So, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now we'll do the interior piece, which is attached to the chassis. So it's on this. Select it again. Now this one's got edge split on it, so we need to fix that first, which I will do here. So I went to modify. I'm going to weld multiple targets. We'll left click. Set this to one. Now if there's edge split on the mirror model, when you do this, Everything will get calculated um, 
basically edge split is two vertices that meet up and if they are not welded to each other then they'll both have their individual normals which will make the normals look weird in game we don't want that they'll be basically sharp spots which is not what we're after so let's bring this pivot back now that we've centered it uh, angle it over here a little bit and then we will do that let's go a little bit more i think yeah like that happy with that now you know what gta 5 mirrors look like normally they're very matte and they don't look very good one thing to note about reflections is they're um only map reflections uh, they don't reflect things like cars or anything like that unfortunately so let's export this you can do it on the LODs as well, but I don't tend to. I'll open open IV. Go to Windows. We'll drag and drop it in so you can see on here. You can sort of see the normals difference in uh, in here sometimes. You can see that one's quite flat, and then uh, we drag and drop the model. Make sure edit mode is on. Drag and drop. There we go, you can see the model size changes a little bit, and if we look at this now, there'll be a difference in... Oh, you don't really see it in here, but it's slightly different. It's not as flat, so it looks a bit more rounded. Okay, we'll test this in-game. I can also show you comparison to the stock model as well, comparing to the original Oracle. Okay, and we're in game now. Let's spawn the car in. We switch to first person. You see the mirrors are more reflective. Let's smash the window out. Mirrors are more reflective. They're not like fully reflective because of the way the material is set up, but they're like close. They're more reflective than they are original and originally, which looks like this. So this is what it looks like originally, not very reflective at all. And if we switch back to the other car again, you can see things are a little bit more reflective. Now, I feel this is good for law cars, but there is a way to get the reflections to be even better, which is with a custom uh, mirror material, which we will set up now. To set up the custom chrome material, we'll go to the material browser at the top here. We'll find vehicle generic detail 2. We'll create a copy of it and we'll rename this to vehicle generic chrome just so it's got like a nice uniform name like the rest of them we'll double click on it to open the material properties and then we'll set the diffuse color to white and then we'll find the first texture in the main detail slot which in this case is vehicle generic detail 2 and we are going to set this to black.dds it's inside via share Hit OK. And then we'll scroll down a bit. We'll set the bump map to blank normal, which is also in VirShare. Just have to find it. There it is. Vehicle generic mod car is fine. And detail spec. No, we're going to set this one to vehicle generic small spec map. Like so. So now we have our realistic chrome material. Let's apply it to the, uh, to the mirrors.
So we'll start with selecting the interior mirror, like so. Then we'll also do this one. And we've already done the normals, so we don't have to worry about the normals. And we've got this one as well. Okay, so those are already selected. And then we'll jump into polygon mode with all the objects selected. And then we'll drag and drop the mirror chrome material over detail two. And now we have chrome. So you can see the material sort of changed a bit, like so. We hit OK. Deselect those. And then we'll re export it again. like so, and we'll drag and drop it once again, so in here these will just be fully black as you can see, they're completely blacked out, but in game they'll be really shiny, the combination of uh, the mesh shader plus vehicle generic small spec map means they'll be extremely shiny. Obviously, you can mess with different custom specular maps and also uh, custom detail maps, but I tend to stick for uh, stick to VirShare stuff for um, my little friendly cars. Because it's just grabbing it from the uh, main texture dictionary. It will spawn my car in. I'll switch to first person. You can see that they're very reflective now. Now, reflections are generally just the LOD of the map objects. Um, obviously, uh, vehicle reflections don't work. So you can see here there are a bunch of vehicles in the car park, but they don't reflect in the mirrors. It's not really much we can do about that. But at least you can see, you know, like uh, parking spaces and stuff. It'd be nice if it reflected the car itself. Um, but, you know, that doesn't do that, really, so. But there you go. There are two methods of doing realistic mirrors. You can have slightly reflective using the standard vehicle generic detail 2, or you can create a custom material and apply that to your mirrors and um, use that instead, which is more reflective. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.